what's up guys i'm back with another video i've literally just filmed this is my third video in the past like four days so i'm on a roll um i kind of have to be quiet because my baby's sleeping and she just opened her eyes Okay, but anyways, I'm basically just going to be doing like a get ready with me chit chat. Um, yeah, video type thing. Y'all said y'all really like those. So that's what I'm going to do. And I wanted to get ready to take some pictures because it's time for me to make my comeback on Instagram, you know. And she's over here laughing. Oh my God, I wish I could show y'all. Okay, but anyways, and I'm also going to be using like a few new products. So I'm going to see if they're any good. Um, but I already did my eyebrows off camera. They came out so fucked up, but I don't care. Um, oh, I forgot to wet my beauty blender. Oh, well. Anyways, um, on my brows, I just started using this thing. Let me show you what's wrong with this. This Makeup Revolution soap brow thing. I actually really like it. You put it on, you use it before you, um, you okay? You use it before you uh, put on your pomade. I don't know. And as usual, I use my LA Girl brow pomade. But yeah, I'm about to use this Milani No Pore Zone Mattifying Primer. Uh, probably like two or three months ago, I spent like $150 on the Milani website. I bought like all their new stuff. They came out with like diff like a peach line, an avocado line, and cherry, I think. And I bought like a little bit of each flavor I guess you could say um but I'm gonna try that out today so let's see let's see oh it's a clear it's clear consistency oh it's like that silicone stuff oh I like these oh yeah it's very silicone-y I like that that feels good I'm gonna put it all right here. Ew, my hands look so ugly without nails, but I can't get nails right now because my baby's so small. I don't want to scratch her. Even if, like, I was considering getting short nails, but I won't even do that. Anyways, oh, it left. I hate the way it leaves your hands. Okay, I went to go wash my hands because I didn't like the way that felt. Um, I'm about to do my lashes. I just got these the other day and I freaking love them. Look at these. I'm gonna start going back to um, Beauty Supply Lashes. These are the Miss 3D Lash um, in MLL252. They're so cute. I wore them the other day. They're so fucking cute. But anyways, um, but yeah, like I was saying, I didn't flick. I haven't fucking lost. Um, what am I saying? Um, I gained, I went from 115 to 145, so I gained exactly 30 pounds my whole pregnancy. And so far, I've only made it down to 134. I thought I was going to bounce back like I did the first time with my son, but I guess that's not happening. The BBL is pretty much out the door. Well, not really, because I got a butt and hips, but, and my stomach's like, it's flat, but it's not, it's never gonna go back to how it was after I got my lipo done, but it got flat. I've also been starving myself. <laughs> just try to lose a little bit of weight. Not really though. I just, not like starving myself. Let me not say that. Um, I just haven't, like I haven't ate all day today. I just had a little bit of iced coffee and that's it. Um, but I'm, I mean, I'm not hungry, you know, but. I don't know. We'll see. I also haven't like um, lost my what's it called the dark line you get on your stomach. I still have that, so it's pretty obvious I'm not like all the way healed. I'm about to make four weeks postpartum on Tuesday. Today is Saturday, so we'll see uh, what happens. But either way, like I told y'all, I'm getting my. I have to go back and get a BBL revision. Which by the way, I've already, I've already got denied by two doctors, unfortunately. I really, I'm gonna be so mad if I ha have to end up going back to um, Dr. Miami to, to um, 
fix, you know, the shit he did pretty much. I should, but like, I don't want to. If I, if I have to end up going back to back from Miami, I'm just gonna have him remove the lumps and like, that's it. Like I won't get anything else done by him. Let's see if I, oh, I did them. Hmm. That's weird. This one looks like it goes on this side, but this one looks like it goes on that side. That's weird. Um, anyways, like I wanted to get like some extra lipo done and maybe like, I don't know if I was gonna get like more fat put anywhere, but for sure I wanted to get my arms done, um, my chin done and my stomach redone. But if I go after, if I have to go back to Dr. Miami to get the lumps removed, I'm not gonna wanna get anything else done by him. So that would be pointless. That's why I'm trying to find somebody to fix me all at once. But fucking, I messaged Dr. Chamada in Houston from Premier Surgical Arts. He works with Dr. Jung and he just responded today saying no. <laughs> and I'm not even gonna try with Jung no more because like I said, I'm not trying to wait fucking three years and then I've uh, think about it, I've already put in on damn near almost twenty thousand dollars into my body and then going back with Jung, I mean going to Jung, I'm gonna spend another like if he even takes me, because if his his doctor didn't take me, then I doubt he's gonna take me. But if he were to accept me, fucking um he's gonna charge a bag for me. And it's just like is it really worth it? And I've been looking up into MIA Aesthetics in Austin, but that's one of the places where they have cheap BBLs. I know there's an MIA in Miami, Aesthetics in Miami, Atlanta, and Austin. That's one of the places that everybody goes to because it's like $5,000 for a BBL. But they, I've been seeing this doctor in Austin um, that is at MIA Aesthetics. And he does a really good job from what I've seen, but it's like, do I really want to go to one of those type of places that's literally like a fucking BBL? Uh, what do they call it? They be calling it like a sweatshop. I think it's called, they, they call it like a sweatshop where it's like BBLs every day, all day, in and out, in and out. But I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I would just want lipo. I don't think I, if I have my hip dip, uh, my hip dips came back 100%. But I, I'm not mad at them. I mean, if I'm meant to have them, it is what it is. But I don't know. I'm just confused. I'm not even all the way here with it. Let's see. I just got to find somebody to fix me. For sure, I have to get this, these lumps removed. Because I hear, like, if you wait too long, it smells so good, this peach. If you wait too long, they turn into hard rocks. And then that's something that's just way worse. So... And I'm going to use my usual CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. This is so ratchet. It looks so bad. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, that's what I'm dealing with right now. Um, yeah. I don't know why I'm starting to, like, have, like, little, tiny little blemishes again. I don't know. But on... Tuesday, I have my postpartum appointment, and I think I'm gonna get my birth control that day. I'm like, it's like bittersweet getting back on birth control. I've been off of birth control for mm, about 19 months already. So what is that? A year and a half. And like, uh, I don't know, it's just my skin's been good. Like everything's been good. I know getting back on my birth control, that probably is gonna change, unfortunately. Um, but I don't want any more kids, at least not for a while, years. As of right now, I don't want any more, but we never know. I wasn't like 100% to go ahead and get my tubes tied, so. Because they would have did it, they asked me. But, I don't know. I for sure don't want kids right now. So, I'm not sure. I still haven't decided with 
what birth control I wanted to get. I was considering the arm implant, but that after reading some shit yesterday, I was like, I'm not getting it. Um, I was on Depo the shot for three years, and it was. I, I mean, obviously it worked really well. I know it works, but towards the end is when my acne got real bad and I started gaining weight. So like, I don't know if I want to do that. And then other than, other than the depo, I would just get the pill. But I don't know. It's like, I know depo works, so why not get back on it? But I'm not sure if I'm going to react the same to it. Like, what if... I instantly gain weight, instantly my face gets fucked up again. I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably most likely gonna end up getting back on the pill. But I just feel like the pill is not for long term. Like, I don't know. I'll see, I'm gonna talk to my doctor, but I don't know. I don't know what I wanna do, but we'll see. I just know I don't want kids and I don't want like acne. I didn't really get, I got act, like, all birth control is gonna, like, fuck you up, but acne, I can't do that again, like, my, uh, my face used to be so fucking bad, uh, like, all right here, like, it looked like I had, like, cystic acne, like, it was so bad, y'all, I don't wanna go back to that, but, like, I'd rather have acne than get, than get pregnant again. She doesn't look like her dad. That's 100%. Well, right now. We'll see later. But she for sure doesn't look, look like her dad. She favors me way more. She has my nose. Um, I'm not sure about... She kinda, it kind of looks like she has my mouth, but I'm not sure. Um, she has all my facial expressions. She's so cute. She's sleeping right here in her little bassinet. She's so cute. I'm just excited to like watch her grow and see like what kind of personality she has. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, what am I doing? Oh, blush. Let me do some blush. I got this Revolution Makeup Revolution blush too. I went to Ulta not too long ago and just bought a bunch of shit. I don't even wear blush, girl. I've been thinking about making a video um, showing like what products um, I bought this time around, like baby products. Cause I'm not gonna lie, like everything that I spent like a lot of money on, like I've been loving it. Like they're so worth it. Like I bought a bunch of the baby, Bri I don't know if it's baby Breeza or Breza, um, like things, machines, I'm gonna call them machines. <laughs> Um, and I fucking love everything. Like, they're so worth the money. The Duna, let me tell y'all. So, well, I guess I'm telling y'all right now. There's no need to make a video. I bought the Baby Breeza, Breza, whatever, um, water warmer. It stays on 24-7. It keeps the uh, water warm for milk. Um, that is like at night, it's so much easier than getting the gallon of water and pour and get in the bottle. You put the water in there and it just keeps it uh, warm all day. And then I bought the Baby Breeza um, bottle dryer sterilizer. Like that, oh, I fucking love it. Like I don't have to boil bottles anymore. And then like it dries them instantly. So you don't have to wait. Um, what else? The Duna. I mean, if you don't get the Duna, like you're tripping. Because that literally has fucking... I mean, it is so worth it. I don't care what nobody says. Like, people that don't have it be like, oh, it's not worth it. I'm not paying 500. It is the best thing I've ever invested in. Like, so convenient. Um, I don't know. I love it. The Duna is 100% worth it. The only thing, the one thing that I haven't used since the hospital is my Burberry diaper bag. <laughs> Simply because the backpack is so much easier to, like, carry around because it's just put it on my back and my hands are free with the uh diaper bag i have to carry it on my shoulder and it's really annoying <gasps> with my burberry diaper bag like that was just something that i wanted like that's i don't know something i splurged on because it was cute i'm gonna use it obviously but i haven't been i only used it at the hospital when she came home 
Because before she could come home, I had to spend the night with her at the NICU to see. It was like a, what they call it, like a test. Like it, it was so weird. Let me tell you about the NICU. It's a very interesting experience. Zay, hold on. He is so weird. Um, I got this at my boxy charm. It's the Tarts Man Eater mascara. That's all right. But um, so my daughter spent nine days in the NICU because she was premature and her lungs weren't developed, and then she had a high white blood cell count. So they had our antibiotics and all this bunch of all this other stuff. Yeah, so I would go. I went home on Friday. Uh, I had her on Tuesday, so I went home three days later, and she she obviously stayed there. Um, I was going every day to go see her. My lips are dry. Hold on. I would go over there every day to go see her. I tried to sometimes twice, but at the same time, like I was healing and I couldn't drive, so that was kind of hard to go twice. But yeah, I was going every day to go see her and drop her off you know, milk that I was pumping for her because they, you know, strongly encouraged, you know, she's premature, you need to, it's better for her to get breast milk. I don't do it anymore. Now I just do, she's a 100% on her uh, special formula. She has to take a, it's called NeoSure. It's for premature babies. But um, while she was in, in the NICU, I was bringing her my milk. Uh, what am I doing now? Oh, I'm done pretty much. I'm pretty much done. Okay, let me spray myself. But anyways, yeah, I was going every day. I was bringing her milk. Um, and it was, like, it was a weird, like, experience. Because, like, they're strict. I get why they're strict. But, like, at the same time, like, they were strict about taking pictures, videos. Um, you couldn't be on your phone. You couldn't FaceTime nobody. I don't know. It's just weird. Like, yeah. Like, they should understand that, like, your baby's already in the NICU, not at home with you. So, if you want to take a picture, like, why shouldn't you be, be able to take a picture or show her off to anybody? Um, I didn't care. I take pictures every day. I didn't give a fuck. I wish somebody would tell me something. But I just know they said that. Like, the first time I went to go see her, they had all these rules. But anywho, when they decided that she was going to go home, um... They were like, we're gonna do a bedroom, a room test with you or something. I, to test how I was with my baby, it was so weird. Like, I don't know. Um, so I had to stay the night there before she can get discharged. I had to take a CPR test or whatever, class training. Uh, she had to do a car seat test where they kept her in the car seat for an hour and a half to see if her, like if her oxygen stayed the same, her heart rate and all that. I get that. Um, cause she's premature, but like to do, like I had to do a bunch. Oh, I had to schedule her, Pete, her appointment like the next day. Like I had to call like two different doctors because like, who's going to take somebody, a baby the next day. Like if you didn't do all this stuff, you couldn't take your baby home. Like it was, it, I don't know. It was just something like I don't wish on anybody other than it being freaking sad. Um, they're strict, like weird with your own kid but yeah i'm just glad she's home finally she i mean she was fine like she was never like sick i don't know she was just super fucking early she came at 34 weeks on the dot she still had five more weeks yeah because i was gonna have my c-section july 26 but she came on june 22nd because she's crazy but um yeah i don't know now I see, like, you you just never think that stuff is going to happen to you. Like, I don't know. Like, I'll see, you know, you see stuff on, like, social media, oh, Nikki babies, this and that. You're like, oh, that's so sad. And then, like, you never think it's going to happen to you. But then, like, now I understand, like, what it's like. I don't know. It was scary, but she's good. She's a happy baby. She eats a lot, too. She's already gained less. The week that she came home, she was 54 and then last week she had, um, last week? No, we just went to the doctor three days ago. She's 6.4, so, she, uh, so she already gained a pound in a week. So we'll see what she 
is next week. But yeah. Basic. But anyways, yeah, so I'm done with my face. Oh, I was gonna do um, some eyeshadow. Look at this. It's so cute. I really just got it because of the packaging. It's the Art I Heart Revolution Triple Chocolate Cookie Shadow Palette. I think it's super cute. Look at that. And then, like, I feel like it's good to take on the road. But anyways, yeah, I'm done with my makeup. Um, I'm gonna go do my hair real quick off camera, and then I'm gonna show y'all what I'm looking like right now. So, like I said, I was... I got up to 145 at the end of my pregnancy, and right now I'm about to be four weeks postpartum, and I'm 135. Like, I've literally only lost 10 pounds. But anywho, let me go do my hair, and I'll come back. Okay, y'all, so my daughter ended up waking up as I was doing my hair, but look how long my hair is. Like, I was going to curl it like I always do, but then I was like, let me straighten it, and it has grown. I do need a trim, though. Oh, mama, I know, I know. Let me finish the video. But um, I was gonna show y'all kind of what I look like at 1.30. It's not bad, but I don't know. My stomach's flat, but like, it's not like as slim and like, I don't know, like after I got my surgery, but I'm not complaining. I don't look bad, you know? My butt looks good. Um, this is the finished look, you know, mm -hmm. nothing special, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and post this like in a few days. I got another video coming, yeah. So I hope y'all like this little chit chat. Get ready with me, comment down below, like what kind of videos y'all want to see. Like, I wanted to do a cooking video, but I don't know what to cook, so maybe y'all can comment down like some recipe ideas or something. I don't know, give me some ideas of what to cook, something new. Cause all I know how to do is make pasta, so I don't want to make another pasta on here. But yeah, so y'all stay tuned. I got a bunch of videos coming for y'all. Like I said, I'm gonna take this more serious. And yeah, I gotta go feed my daughter. So I will see y'all in the next video. Say bye. <laughs>